My name is Francis Kemamsu, and I work with the Energy Center of Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in Ghana. Our, our research was a, a technical and economic feasibility study for biofuels SMEs in Ghana, and SMEs mean small and medium enterprises. We were looking at how technically as a country we were prepared to support a biofuel industry that is booming, uh, if I may say so. And also looking at the financial side, how financially feasible and economically feasible it would be for us to go into that industry. Um, our research found that um, government should not treat Jatrufa as just any crop at all that is not of importance to be grown on marginal lands, but that it should be treated as an agricultural crop so that the same importance that we attach to our normal food crops should be attached to Jatrufa as well. And in doing that, we should look at irrigating and fertilizing Jatrufa. Because scenarios we have run indicate that when we irrigate and fertilize it, the yields are quite high. And it is possible for us to make some economic gains from it because there will be a high number of employed people in that industry. We also found out that it will be it will make economic sense for Ghana to begin first to use Jatrufa oil in its um, raw form at the moment and not to rush to produce biodiesel. This is because um, the inputs for biodiesel, which will mainly be imported from outside the country, makes the cost of the biodiesel very expensive. If you look at the, the acids and some of the other catalysts that are needed to move from the crude oil into an esterification and a trans esterification uh, phase, it makes the cost so expensive that it would be good for us now to be using the Jatrufa oil in, in tractors and some other heavy machinery until we can be able to um, be able to manufacture some of these chemicals in the country and therefore reduce the cost of production. Um, we, we, we also thought that government should give a clear way on what the biofuels industry will be in the next few years because there are people with plantations who are not very sure of what the government's uh, policy would be in the next few years and therefore they are not sure how to go about things, whether there will be subsidies on, on their biofuels. And it's exactly. good for government to look at upgrading the capacity of people who are already in the machinery sector to be able to move beyond manufacturing extraction machines and also to now be able to manufacture evaporators, condensers and reactors. This, we think, would reduce the cost of uh, processing biodiesel in, in our country. Thank you very much.